Hi everybody and welcome to my first iClone tutorial. This is kind of a forget beginner to maybe medium a tutorial. If you're a real experienced iCloner, you'll probably be familiar with how to do all this, but if not, if you've never used paint.net, that's my free graphics program of choice. If you've used Photoshop, it probably does everything paint.net does and more, but paint.net is free, so I can't justify paying a monthly fee for Adobe, but I'm going to just go ahead and get started. I had this little image here. This is Cody, my alter ego. I'm a programmer. Get it, Cody? Okay, that's my humor for the day. All right, and I'm going to just show you what I'm going to do here. I bought this little stock photo here for a dollar. I buy a hundred images at a time from depositphotos.com. I have no affiliation with them and they don't pay me, but after my experience with shutterstock.com, I, would, I wouldn't send my worst enemy to Shutterstock, and I would send everybody to Deposit Photos. They're in free plug for Deposit Photos, but they're a cool site. Okay, now what I want to do is, I just wanted to turn this into the floor, would obviously be the ice rink, and the crowd would be the another plan. I'll show you how I do that really quickly. So I'm going to just first break this up into two different images. So I'll just, oh, I can move it after I got it, but I'll just, that's about perfect. I want to just get just the ice, so I'm just going to say image, crop to selection, and I'm going to say save as, and I'll just call this, I already have it saved here, but I'll just call this hockey ice, I think I already have it, yeah, hockey ice, okay, and now I'm going to hit control Z on my clipboard to undo, and this time I want to select everything from the ice, including the little uh, rail there, kind of the glass rail, say image, crop to selection, and this is a really large image. I bought this. It's like a, I don't, it's like 8 meg. I know that. It's pretty huge. I'm going to go ahead and say uh, Hockey Crowd, which again, I already have this, but if you don't have it, just save it. I'll just save it again. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so that gives me my two images. Now I'm going to go back over to iClone. Now, I already have these, but I'm going to, I'll just turn them on for a second just to show you. I've got, this is the ice rink. Now, all I did to do that, I'll just hide this one and I'll create another one. So I'll just go create, surface, plane, okay, and that's your plane. That's about the amount, of, I think I might have sized it up a little bit. Then go to modify, select, and then go to your base color. And then just, I kind of double click in there and it pops up and I just... I can select it from here. I've got it in my temp folder also, but I'll just, doesn't really matter, but it's hockey. This one I called floor. Same thing. I'm in a little bit different place. Now, when it came in, I didn't like this the way it looked, but then I'll go ahead and show you. Uh, go to here and go down a little bit to self illumination, and I realize it's kind of uh, frowned upon in a lot of situations, but this is one of those situations where as soon as you crank that up, you get all the. The detail comes in of the, the ice, you know, the, the skate marks and everything. So this is one of those situations. And there's probably some other way to do it with, you know, with a, a scene with less light might bring that out. But in this case, that looked exactly what I wanted. Now, to I'll go ahead and go back up to my scene manager. And I'll just temporarily show you the one I already have, my hockey crowd, which is this. And... To, you know, all I did to do that is I made a copy of my, I'll go to my, my latest one, doesn't matter. You hit control, hold the uh, control key down. I hit W to bring up, I'm going to back up a little bit. Hit W to bring up the little, you know, move. My little uh, acronyms, or I guess you'd call them initials to remember, the W-E-R was the W is we need to move it. E is for easy rotate and R is for resize is what I came up with but the WER keys are the ones that I never could remember when I started using icon iClone okay so now that I want to make a copy just hold the control key and then move make this and now I'm gonna to go to transform go to here to the rotate tab and I'm gonna make it rotate it 90 degrees now doing that that kind of kind of hurt our poor little Cody there but easy fix we're going to back the little crowd up quite a maybe zoom way out okay now we're gonna resize this now let me go back over first thing I want to do is just bring this size down doesn't need to be near that big 
Let me move that up. Okay, now we're going to change this image to the crowd image. Unique texture because we don't want to link it to the to the ice rink. And now I'm going to position my camera. Let me kind of let me select Cody so I can kind of zoom in to where I need Cody to be. I might like I'll link that to the parent really quickly and then go to attach. Ah, pick parent and I will link this plane to this one. So now if I resize in theory they will resize together. That's good. Okay, so now I'm gonna zoom in our little Cody character. Let me select this to kind of get that. Okay. Basically all I did to make a stock photo and turn it into an iClone I don't know what I would do. I'll probably get back this scene out a little bit. Plane and move it up so Cody's not floating. That's about right there, I think. And the crowd might need to be down just a little. Gotta zoom out to see the little handles. That's one of my iClone kind of. I, I would like that those little handles to always be visible, but that's probably fine. Okay. So let me zoom way up in here, and that was uh, my little photo. Now, I will say the one thing I noticed, I sat here and watched my computer render iRay for about 15 minutes, and it looked horrible compared to, let me see if I can, I can't get my, my perspective the way I had it. I, earlier, I kind of liked it. I'm going to have to zoom my camera out. Started to change it, because I knew I was never going to get it back to the way I had it. But basically, that is uh, my stock photo to iClone tutorial. Sorry it wasn't, uh, he's not juggling. That's on my list to uh, learn how to teach him to juggle, but tried that yet. So maybe I'll do that in a second video. But thanks for watching. Have a great day.